Hey there, I'm Entech and welcome to Glitchpunk. Glitchpunk is set in a dystopian future where you play as an android bounty hunter in a world full of gangs, cults, and corporations. The gameplay of Glitchpunk is full of high action, explosive shootouts, cyberpunk aesthetics, and a very futuristic feel. Inspired by classic top-down action games, Glitchpunk is full of brawling, shooting, and driving into chaos. There's plenty of weapons and vehicles for you to choose from and cause havoc with, police chases, and so much more. Now, before I tell you more about this game, this video is sponsored by the developer of the game, Dark Lord and the publisher, Datalik Entertainment. In the game, you can run, hack, steal, drive, shoot, and blast your way through the criminal world. The hacking system of the game helps you manipulate your surroundings and the people around you. Player progression takes the form of modules in the game, which provides you with various enhancements that can improve your hacking skills or boost your abilities. There is also a responsive storyline which changes and branches off based on who you choose to help. Different missions and different ways to approach the game happen as a result of your choices, thus providing a lot of replayability. There are many weapons to choose from in game, many different types of vehicles such as trains, tanks, buses, trucks, cars, motorcycles, you name it. There are police chases that go up to 10 wanted levels, 4 different cities, and much more. Alright, so now that I've told you a little bit more about the game, let's go ahead and let's do a deep dive into the gameplay. Comment below what you see that you like, what are your thoughts on the game, and then check out the links in the description below for the Steam page as well as their website. Let's get into it. Alright, so there's a lot of things that go on in this world, and there are different, you can see there's three different like organizations represented and these different organizations can give you contracts and that's how you can make money and so there's quite a bit that goes into this game and you can get hit by cars and so I want to look out for that and we're gonna come over here oh I should probably this burster is pretty cool I should buy this so I've already kind of played the game a little bit and messed around and uh, there are people who can like randomly pickpocket you and stuff it's it's kind of crazy and there's really not a lot of ways to defend yourself you can't just go out and like start you know messing people up in broad daylight which I don't know if it's ever daylight in this game but uh, you know people report you to the cops and they don't like it they're like this guy's running and I don't want to take him out right here because there's people around so I, I kind of would like to wait until maybe he's alone somewhere else and the cops aren't gonna get called on me oh geez the cops just literally tased that dude right there in front of me come here dude Nobody's around. Sweet. Uh, nothing. You didn't see anything. There's kind of an element of stealth in a way where you don't want to be doing stuff out in the open. You want to kind of be discreet about what you do. Ah, oh, no, I'm wanted. There's, well, there's a cop right there. Ow, run away. <laughs> Please no, cop. Don't get me. Pawn shop. I can trade stuff out. Okay. There's a couple shops. I didn't hit any of the shops last time, and so I really would like to... Uh, Hit some. Look at that. They're chasing after me. I think they will eventually like leave me alone. But if I do this right here, they're gonna. It's gonna reset essentially, and they're gonna keep coming after me. So now I just kind of have to evade them until my one meter goes down. The one meter can take a while to go down in this game. But I I am aware that they are going to potentially tone down a little bit. Yikes! I thought I heard something blow up. Oh, a, a stun baton. Sweet. Yeah, that car literally just blew blew up right in front of me. Oh, we got a stun baton. That's awesome. There's sometimes this might be good for those pickpocketers that come after you. Yeah, so here's a car, and there are different types of cars in the game. Uh, oh, wanted? What? Oh no! Lit what the heck? Why was I wanted? Why did I just get wanted all of a sudden? That's no good. Okay, we do have uh, modules, which are pretty cool. Let me show you what this is. So you get different modules, and they essentially like allow you to get like upgrades and bonuses. So this one, a frenzy bonus. Now I've got two different missions here that I can go and essentially do this one's further away and this one's over here and we can go and I like to go to the green one first and let's see what that one is like now uh, join the Android Liberation Front become a courier today sweet let's uh, go do that there's also hacking in this game like I said and you can kind of see information about them when you hover over as you can see like this guy's net worth is whatever and he doesn't have this money on him so he doesn't like you know he's not gonna give you this so the driving in this game can take a little bit of getting used to it's uh you know especially if you got a motorbike motorbikes are insanely fast let me just see if I can grab this one real fast 
I think I can. Oh crap! Three one and oh no! Yeah, so it turns out that oh crud! Turns out that taking a vehicle is not the best idea. Oh, dude, there's a roadblock. You set up that is a that's a drop off. You set up a roadblock for me. There's ten. Just so you know, there's ten wanted levels in this game. I don't. I can't even imagine what that's like. Okay, I made it to the. I made it to the mission board. Join the army and become a courier. I'm gonna do that. This chick, Ivy, she actually helps androids survive, which is what I am. And so, oh, it did reset my wanted. Sweet. So by taking the contract, it did reset. That's awesome. Um, and so we need to join. Get in this car. All right, now what? Most of the people are so... First target is waiting outside the hotel. Be careful not to attract any attention. Literally, does that guy... Get out of here, man. <laughs> I just... He just tried to boost my car for me. Actually, I think he's after me. Deliver the first sample. Avoid attracting attention. Well, it's too late for that. So this is the map and you can zoom out and you can see everything and zoom way in and it's fairly large and there's four different cities that you can get access to. New Baltia is the one that I'm on right now and you can see on the map there's all kinds of different things from you know the weapon stores and item stores, the pawn shops, hideouts which I'm assuming I need to go to maybe if I'm being chased or if I want to potentially save the game I'm not entirely sure then there's different like contract hubs and things like that and so currently I am trying to make it to this mission objective and I'm getting chased by people by androids because I accidentally hit one I'm trying to just find where I need to how I can get through here there's different back alleyways and stuff so there's a guy right here alright so deliver the first so let's go up here there we go sweet not the only ones who want to control the city. Raiders, the re, uh, renegade addicts from the southern island, were the were fir here first, but we are way more efficient and organized. And I particularly like this group because she's a little bit more tame. The other side, uh, the other group of individuals, she's kind of crazy. And just as a warning, there are mature things. Um, oh, I fail. I, whoops. I got to go get them. <laughs> Apparently, I was too busy talking. Um, they uh there's mature things in speech in this game and so um just to be aware so oh i gotta do this whole thing all over again so that'll happen but you can at least redo it there is a radio station too like you can get different radio stations and it's all like custom music from people all around, all around the world but i have it turned off just because that's generally what i do oh crud that's generally what i do in games and so um just so you know there is a custom uh soundtrack too all right let's try this again so I need to go and I need to take out these targets before they reach their location. I'm wanted, seriously? Cop, I'm trying to do something right now. I've got business to attend to. And that is stop these dudes from getting to where they're, where they're, where they're going. Got one. Uh, deliver the second sample. Okay, I, oh, it's literally right here. All right. Did it. Okay. You violated the law, criminal scum? What the heck? I didn't mean to. All right, I think I did it that time. Sweet. Yeah, we did it. All right, now we have to deliver the third sample. Don't raise your wanted level. Oh, gosh. It's very tricky. So it's pretty cool that I did damage the car and one of the headlights is out. Now, I, I will say this. I got to make sure that I don't hit a cop car or anything like that because that will raise my wanted level. And let me just tell you. The cops in this game are pretty brutal. They will immediately get out of their car and start to <laughs> shoot at you. Which, I don't know if it's they think that, uh, you know, maybe they're just like, oh, they're, they're, they're going to attack me or something. I don't know. Maybe they just assume it. But, yeah, they're, they're pretty dangerous. And so, like, this guy, stay away from me. No, I've got business to attend to. I, am not, I don't have time to shock you right now. Let me just deliver it, please. Did we do it? Oh, wanted. This man was in a rehab center. What the heck did I even do? I didn't even do anything. Lose the chase. Look up the location of the nearest mod garage on the map. Oh, do I not have any? Okay, dude. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The nearest mod garage. Okay. Jeez Louise. You can see how intense this game gets pretty quickly, okay? Oh, this right here is the mod garage. So, but I need to probably be in a car, though. And so it's not gonna help me if I don't have a vehicle to get in. Three wanted level, that's just nuts. Oh my goodness. 
Dude, we gotta go right now. Where's the mod garage? I'm close by. Oh, I'm Austin powering it in this little area. Oh, jeez, I just hit somebody. That's no good. How do I get to the mod garage? Back here in this alleyway, probably. Oh, uh, vehicle just blew up in the distance. Dude, there's so many cops. Oh, no, they're pulling me out. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. They got me. System suspended. All right, let's try to save it, shall we? Unavailable during mission. Oh, no. I can't save during the mission. I need to save it. What is that? A flamethrower? <laughs> Can I buy it? All right, it costs a thousand for each individual thing of ammo, but who doesn't want a flamethrower? One of the things that I do like about this game so far from what I can see is you can play kind of as you can play as the Reapers, which are more of the like aggressive, rather uh, crazy, rude, uh, very, uh, you know, lots of cursing and just kind of chaotic sounding. And then these are the seem to be the they want to fit in with society the androids and society kind of hates them and so they want to fit in and so they want to abide by the law and do everything the best that they can and uh it's it's kind of cool to see you can play as different different ways which i'd rather play the peaceful way as much as i can i don't really mind so much about other gangs and corporations or whatever but it, as far as obeying the law for the most part I would like to do that. Okay, I've got my car parked right below this area. And so I'm hoping that once we trigger this dude being the snitch and the cops come, I can just hop down here, get in my car. Maybe not. Get in the car, please. There we go. Drive quickly. Okay, we've made it out of there. I don't really care so much now. I just need to lose the chase. And where do we need to go? Hold on. We need to find out where we need to go. Uh, it's just, just straight down here and then uh, kind of straight down the road and then take a left. Actually, I think we had to go all the way around. So if we take the next right and then we go that way, perhaps. Jeez, these guys are nuts. No, this is not what I want. This is not what I want. Oh my gosh. He's pulling me out. Okay, I broke it. I broke it. We gotta get down in here quick. Get in there. Dude, we did it, but they're still after us. Okay, can I make it to a, a mod house? I mean, like a, a safe house? This game is, this game is intense, man. Right, we've almost made it to the safe house. Now that we're not on a mission, we should be able to save, right? And uh, that's gonna be great to save. Yes, rest. We did it. We saved. Do you want to save your current progress? I do indeed. Nice. Now I don't, and I lost my wanted, and now I don't have to worry about like losing my progress. That is sweet. I had some issues, but now we're good. Okay, so here's this is a headhunt club, and I have to take out these cultists. I don't know where where I can find all of these things. I might have just got a one at level for no reason because I can't even find any any of them. They're usually all over the place and you can find them pretty quickly. Now it's interesting, after I did that mission and I rested, I lost my flamethrower. And I'm not entirely sure what happened to it. Maybe I dropped it when I did that mission, the headhunt thing. Nope, it's not here. Okay, enter the pawn shop. Okay, current offers. We have one module. We can buy modules. Unwelder. I wonder what happens when all engine parts fail at the same time. Wow. Uh, does that say 10,000? Okay. Slightly increased gut capacity. Hit points plus 10%. Focus plus 30. Interesting. Slightly increased 20%. 3,500. More effective than those baby onboard stickers. What? <laughs> Gauge handbrake. Oh, interesting. Okay. And then that one. Attack speed 15. I kind of like... This is only 1,500. I kind of like the idea of this. Getting this. Let's buy that, shall we? Sweet. And then... No, I don't want to sell it. I want to go here. And then install it. 
Yeah, nice. Give me some more HP. I want to go down here and check out this car dealership, but before I do that, there's an icon on the map here that's a grenade symbol, and there's actually no icon in the menu list for whatever that is. All right, here it is. What is this place? What is going on in here? Is that a pickpocketer trying to get me? Enter Buster. It's a vehicle? Is that what this is? I'm interesting. Interesting. What? Okay. B bomb. I've got a bomb. Uh, what does a bomb do? <laughs> oh, can I? Wait a minute. I might be able to use this in here. Oh, yeah. Use vehicle upgrade. Left click. Uh. Mm. Oh! I should get out of it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And whenever you die, you actually lose everything you have. I wonder if I can go pick it up, though. I might actually be able to. So, that makes sense as to what that is. <laughs> it's you can get upgrades and you can get different, like, abilities for your vehicles, too. Um, I just literally thought I was going to lay one, and it wasn't until it was almost blown up that I realized, oh, hey, the car's going to be a bomb. We should get out of it. So now this is interesting. Sometimes you don't get, you, you don't get any missions. And if I go over to the Reapers, they're going to attack me because I already attacked them once. Accidentally. Not really. I just don't really like them. And uh, so if I go over there and I do the mission, which I think that's honestly how I'm going to progress, I might have to pay the, the bounty, which I don't really want to do. So I paid the bounty. It's $1,000. And so now that I've done that, they, won't actually, they don't actually care about me as much. And so, unfortunately, uh, I've used a lot, of my, a lot of my ammo. What? My uh, money. What is this, though? slows time for five seconds okay i gotta take out both these targets for her and then we can progress through the uh through the missions okay i have to deliver her bike to the garage and uh these things are so fast all right i completed the mission we made some money and i got a new mod that i'm not gonna install i'm gonna wind up selling it and uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the game in the comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, let me know in the comments below what you think of the game. And check it out for yourself on Steam. See you guys next time.